The Millennium Development Goals provide a great structure to help the developing world adjust to modern society. But we strongly feel that before you can tackle these pressing issues, you need to have a way of catalyzing community in a fun and entertaining way. That's why we started the first environmental nightclub here in San Francisco. We draw crowds of over a thousand people every weekend to dance in a beautiful environment. When we're not having big parties on the weekends, we open up our space to host all types of different events where we educate the community on spirituality, sustainability, and culture. We took this concept to Uganda as well during the 2010 World Cup. Hello from Kampala, Uganda. I have just been elected chairman of the Chebando Green Movement, and it's because we've been working with the community on all sorts of issues around waste. We're screening games for free in a slum and having hundreds of people show up to watch it. And when they come here together, We've been figuring out what projects we can do together. Already, we've gotten uh, to use plastic to make balls, call them Bavera balls, and we've been handing them out to children. We've also done community cleanups where we have teachers, uh, politicians, students, uh, locals all hanging out together cleaning up because there wasn't much consciousness about waste when I got here. But I think that they've got to see the connection between waste and a clean environment, a healthy environment, and one that looks nice. And that Buvera, that plastic, doesn't just have to be something that's thrown on the ground or burned, but it can be used for useful things. So as you can see, if you can entertain people and get them together, that community dialogue starts and mass mobilization is possible. So I know that together we can achieve the Millennium Development Goals, but I think that we can do them even better and even faster if we entertain and let people have fun together.